Hello everyone, this is Dreadnought, and we're going to talk a little bit about how we can make Inferno Act 2 a little bit easier for the Barbarian. I know that's a big jump from Act 1 to Act 2, and so I want to talk specifically about attack speed and life per hit, and how it's going to make your life a whole lot easier going through Act 2 Inferno. So real quick, let's jump to my details. I'm up to 2.17 attacks per second, but that's without my frenzy that's going to stack up to 75% attack speed and Wrath of the Berserker that's going to give me another 25% attack speed while I'm in Wrath and I have been stacking life per hit instead of life per kill now so I'm up to a thousand life per hit and when you're hitting three times a second then you're getting back three thousand life per second and that's what's going to keep you alive going through Act 2. Now there's three things that you need to focus on. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, you've noticed that my damage is down. It got, it got up to uh, 30,000 at one point, and now I'm down to 10. And it's a sad day when your vitality passes up your strength, but it's going to help you get through Act 2 and 3 in Inferno. And so the, the big three that you need to survive, number one, you need enough life. 45,000 is a little much, but you need, I'd say, around 30,000 at least. You need resistances. Uh, these are a little bit high, but I'm going to say about 400 all resist for Act 2. And then with the War Cry, they're going to go up by 50%. Um, and armor uh, plays into that, just damage reduction overall. I get a 75% damage reduction from armor and around 70% to 75% reduction from my resistances. And the th so number one, life, number two, damage reduction, and number three, you need a way to get your life back because you're not just going to be hitting potions and picking up orbs. So the three life regen that I use is life per second. I'm at 400 right now, life per hit. I'm trying to focus on the most. I'm at 1,000. And health globes um, are optional. I like health globes, so I stack up to 13,000 for my health globes. And those three strings are going to keep you alive. And so really the, the main issue I was having in Act 2 was not be able, being able to get my life back fast enough. I, just, I had to kite for a really long time to be able to get my health back up to full. But now that I'm stacking attack speed and life per hit, I go from almost dead to full health really fast. And because of my damage reduction, I can actually take some of the big hits without having to avoid them instead which saves me a lot of time um, if you're trying to get your attack speed up the four things four pieces that you should be focused on are your weapon I recommend at least a 1.3 attack speed I also recommend a one-hander from act two on with a shield your rings are also a good place to get attack speed your gloves and amulet. So look at those four first to find your attack speed. And if you get up to a two hits per second and you're using Frenzy and Wrath, then you're going to have some ridiculously fast swings. And if you have that life per hit, you're going to be healing yourself to full a lot faster than you thought possible. A lot of people were saying that they wanted to see my tank build. Um, there's, there's no real tanking in Diablo, but I know what you're talking about. I actually call it my progression build because when you're trying to make your way through acts that are difficult and you're dying a lot on, you have to sacrifice damage and get a lot more of your resistant uh, damage reduction and, and health. And so this is my tanky build. This is my progression build that I use to get through areas of the game that I have not progressed through yet. And I actually don't spend a lot of time on progression. Um, and if you are spending a lot of time on progression in Inferno, then you are probably a very frustrated person because it's the most frustrating part of the game. But the only way to really make your progression go faster is by gearing up. And the best way to gear up right now is to grind gold and magic items from acts that you are fairly comfortable in acts that you can run through really quickly and you're not dying more than once every 20 minutes you're not getting stuck on elite groups aren't elite groups that are just too difficult for you and just grind that out until you have enough gold and then do AH searches <coughs> with max buyouts of 100 to 200,000 uh, if you're not geared up enough to do act 2 yet don't 
be spending money on those million, two million items because you can get significant gear upgrades for one or two hundred thousand if you're patient. You know exactly what you need on the AH, which is damage reduction, vitality, and uh, life per hit if you're stacking attack speed. And keep grinding those easy areas. I know it's tiring, but you're going to get a lot more done than you are th with progression because just because you progress to Act 4 Inferno doesn't mean that you're going to be grinding elites in Act 4 Inferno. So I have a, a good idea of what area you're comfortable in. Play in that area until you get significant gear upgrades. Uh, spend a decent amount of time on the auction house. Don't get your 300,000k, run to the auction house and buy the first shiny thing you see. Because if you wait and you keep refreshing, you're going to see people posting things for a lot cheaper than they're supposed to be posted for. And those are the items you want to snag. I'm actually uh, using one legendary right now. It's my shield. And normally it's sh uh, legendaries aren't worth buying because the price goes up just because they're a legendary and people like leg legendaries. Uh, but I just <coughs> was sitting on the auction house for a couple hours straight and uh, it popped up for only 250k, which was grossly underpriced and I grabbed it as fast as I could. And that's how I do most of my gearing is just grinding easy levels and waiting it out on the auction house. And it's tiring and it's boring, but you're going to get a lot more done than you are trying to progress through uh, areas of Inferno that you're not ready to progress through. If you can't see the build that I'm using right now, it's actually a popular online build that people are using that I just changed a little bit to match my gameplay. I'm using Frenzy with Sidearm, Wrath of the Berserker with Insanity, Furious Charge with Dreadnought, Ground Stomp with wrench Wrenching Smash, War Cry with Impunity, Revenge with Provocation, and my passives are Nerves of Steel, Tough as Nails, and Berserker Rage. Uh, if you haven't tried this build out, I recommend everyone try it and then switch it up to match your playstyle. If you like the video and you got some good tips out of it at least, I appreciate the like and subscribe. And we're going to be coming out with some more two-person videos with me and Archon going through Acts 3 and 4 in Inferno.